So my mom and stepdad decided to go on a carnival cruise this past week and like the boomers they are, they decided to actually post pictures on Facebook with the whole watermark on them. So I went to the comments to tell them that their millennial daughter is here to save the day and that I could probably remove the watermark from this photo using Canva. So if you wanna see exactly how I did it and how you can too, then keep watching. Now with great power comes great responsibility. So please do not use this hack on the work of independent photographers and small businesses. I am not advising you to do that. And I'm not advising you to do it under any circumstance. That's up to you. I am simply showing you how the tool works and how you could remove a watermark if you wanted to. So let's get into the tutorial. So basically you're going to save the photo that you wanna work with and upload it into Canva, of course. Now, if you don't have a Canva account, then use the link in the description of this video to go and create one today. Canva is free and they also have a pro subscription that I highly recommend. And I believe the tool that I'm going to use is a Canva pro tool and it's a pretty smart tool. So I think you can understand why. So once you've uploaded the photo into Canva, you're going to click on the photo and click the button that says edit. And then on the left hand side here, you should see a tool that's called magic eraser. So go ahead and click there. Now this tool is very intuitive and it can erase a lot of things from a photo. But what I will say that is a drawback of this tool is that you can't, if you erase something and you don't like the way that it's erased it, you can't undo the last erasure that you've done. You'd have to go ahead and start all over. So when I like the work that this tool has done, I'm going to be saving the photo periodically so that I don't have to go back and start all over if I don't like one little move that it makes. Now the drawback to doing this is that every time you save the photo, it does lose quality. So by the end of this process, the photo quality is going to have taken quite a dip. But hey, I guess that's just the price you have to pay for trying to remove a watermark. Now I'm just gonna work bit by bit on each section and I find that the tool works better when you select the area that you want to erase and a little bit on the border of it. So basically what this tool does is it just copies the pattern around it and it removes anything that goes out of that pattern. Okay, so here's a bit of a tricky area. Let's see how it works. Ooh, it messed up on his fingers a little bit, but you're not gonna really notice as long as the faces look good. So now that I've done all that, I'm just going to save my work because I predict that going over the face areas, it's going to be a, li a little bit more complicated. Okay, I do not like how that turned out, so let's try again. All right, so let's see how it handles this face area. Okay, so it's kind of having this stubborn area around my mom's forehead and cheek. I'm gonna keep going over it and I'm gonna save my work and then try it again because going over the same area over and over again doesn't really seem to be very effective using this tool. The tool is clearly confused on what you are trying to erase. So if it's not working the first time, you might have to save it and start again to have it work a second or third time.
All right, here is the final result. I think it looks pretty good. As you can see, the quality is a lot lower than it was when we started, and it's definitely a lot lower than it would be if you actually bought the photo from them directly. You'd probably get a really HD photo. So this is the price that you pay for removing a watermark. Not gonna complain, beggars can't be choosers, right? <laughs> So my mom actually posted another photo of them that had watermarks, but I already knew that Magic Eraser was not going to work for this tool because the watermark went over my stepdad's teeth. And I feel like teeth and like fine <laughs> details are very difficult to get right with Magic Eraser. So I already was 99% sure this wasn't gonna work. Woo, that is scary. Let me try it one more time just to be sure. Yeah, that is not gonna work. So it doesn't work on every single type of photo, but luckily for us with the first photo, the watermark went around all of the major areas on their face. We got very lucky that it didn't go over my mom's eye in the picture here. So this was the perfect photo to hack and do this process on. Now there might be other use cases for removing watermarks that are more ethical, but I'm not urging you to do something or to not do something but let's talk about cruise lines, okay? Now I'm not saying you should do it, but let me explain the wastefulness of cruise line photography. I've been on a number of cruises before in my life. One of my best friends even worked on a cruise for nine months as a performer, and I went to visit her and see her show. The conditions that they lived in were not great. They lived in windowless rooms for nine months, making below minimum wage, and they were constantly sick because of the close proximity to one another as the staff and the bad air quality below deck. So let me explain cruise line photography. When you're on the cruise as a guest, photographers are constantly berating you to take photos of you. So the photographers have little stations all over the cruise. They're just standing there, probably getting paid whatever they're gonna get paid regardless. And every time a guest passes by, they will berate you to take a photo. It's pretty aggressive according to what I remember. They don't want you to just pass by and not take a photo. And of course you're on vacation. You're like, sure, we'll take a photo, whatever. Like not gonna hurt us. Even if we don't end up buying the photo, it's cute to like stand and pose for a photo with your family, why not? But they're really aggressive when it comes to getting you to take the photo. And then toward the end of the cruise, they actually print out all the photos, or at least they used to print them out in paper and have them presented with the watermarks on them and everything so that you could fall in love with the photo and eventually buy it. Now, whether you buy the photo or not, the print was already printed and sitting there, which was kind of annoying because it's already printed and they're obviously just gonna throw it away if you don't buy it. And let me be clear, my family has definitely gone ahead and paid the ridiculous prices for these photos and bought dozens of family photos on these cruise lines in the past. So this business model definitely works, but sometimes you just don't wanna buy them. Maybe you lost too much money in their casino and you just wanna take a picture of the picture that they took of you since they already took it and it's just gonna go to waste anyway. I haven't been on a cruise in a couple years, but it seems like based on what my mom uploaded, now they have a digital file that they have posted with the watermark on it instead of printing them out and wasting all that paper and ink, which is good. But my point in all this is to say that they've already taken the photo and they were already going to be there taking photos. So it's very different. Um, removing the watermark from a cruise line photo versus say having a small business photographer come to an event, take photos, and then try to make money off of something that they otherwise wouldn't have. In this case with the cruise, the cruise has already made their money and then some, not to mention all of the ethics questions behind cruise lines, but I can't say too much because I guess I have supported them by going on cruises myself. That's my little tidbit on removing watermarks from cruise line photography. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next one.